What's going on, people? Welcome back to another video. My name is Uizzy, and you're watching 90 More. Back again after Premier League football and Chelsea's 2 0 win at Stamford Bridge over Arsenal. It's very difficult for me to remain impartial on this channel. When Arsenal are playing especially, especially since the majority of the videos that I've done for this channel have been about Arsenal. But today, Mike Dean leaves me with little choice but to say, the state of refereeing in the Premier League right now is unbelievably poor. The inability, the eyesight and the knowledge of the laws of the game all need testing. And Mike needs a lie detector hooked up as soon as possible because something's not right here. We are talking the most incompetent, inconsistent pub level of refereeing where a linesman can see a flick of the leg from a good 50 yards away but none of the five officials are seeing Diego Costa doing his best Tarzan impression swinging from players necks throwing elbows like he's at some kind of slipknot gig and generally just being an absolute shit cunt of a man you've got two Brazilians both raised in places where you don't want to be out after 3 p.m. in fact it's best just to stay inside Costa's an animal you can see it in his face you can see he was raised on some baking burning hot streets where you had to fight for every meal Every bean is earned. Pinch, pull, punch, dive, steal anything to get an advantage. And you have to respect it, or at least I think I do anyway. Even when he's not playing particularly well, which he isn't and he wasn't, he's having an impact on the game. He's the type of striker he was in Spain. He's not doing anything different. Everyone knew him as an absolute twat in Madrid. But show him a weakness. Give him an inch and he'll take a mile. He strikes me as the type of guy who walk over his own mother to get ahead in the queue. He's exactly the type of player that Mourinho loves. A player that's willing to work, willing to cause a problem. Problem, create issues for defenders, even test their temperament. And Gabriel, God bless Gabriel, who, he's gone to the University of Natural Born Killers himself, right down the road from where Costa used to pickpocket orphans for Mars bars at the age of eight months. Gabriel, he's bitten. He wants to smash his leathery face in so badly. When Costa pats him on the chest like the festering little rat that he is, Gabriel's up for it. He's so riled up, he can't control himself. He pats him back. He's sarcastic. It's rising to the bait. And then it costs us. When you let it get the better of you and you kick out. And in that moment of madness, they've won the game. It's Mourinho's perfect scenario. It makes the game plan so much easier. When Santi's booked for a challenge you saw about 18 times uncalled throughout the game, you just know you've been bantered off by Mike Dean. The irony is we now not only lose the one bit of killer in the side we've got, but now cockerland has got to go off as well. And he's picked up a knee injury. I mean, oh, wow. Who could have possibly predicted this? A massive opportunity missed to take points off a very dodgy looking Chelsea side who've had a seriously seriously poor start they're worse since the 80s and after that start to the game after Alexis Ramsey's had chances Theo all wasting good chances and now Coquelin could join Wiltshire and Welbeck on the sidelines what worries me most is how bad we were in the final third Ramsey looks consistently inconsistent he's just consistently off for me his touch is really questionable right now and I don't know why he persists in trying to be the Hollywood hero all the time Santi just looks afraid he's slow to make decisions and I'm just not sure he's seriously capable of playing so deep against top sides anymore. And if we lose Coquelin, it's over, lads. It's over. We need January to happen already because Flamini is one step closer to playing first-team football. Pedro looks like a quality signing, purposeful, very direct and productive in the final third. Tricky player. Fabregas was actually very good on the ball for me and Hazard looked half-decent when he was playing against nine men. I don't know what we can draw from that, but... Um, yeah, although it's very easy for me to criticise, I'm very disappointed in Theo. Giroud didn't offer very much at all when he came on. Where is Alexis? Who is this guy we've got? He's not the same player. He should have been rested. He needs a goal. His confidence is surely taking a knock by now. And even though him coming back to form is something to look forward to, it's another game without a goal. Another Mourinho win over Wenger. Another big game where big name players have not turned up again. But most of all, a very exciting game of football, just ruined by another referee who should have gone to Specsavers. <sighs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video if you're new, subscribe if you're new as well, and I will see you guys in the next one. For now, though, I've been Hugh Wizzy, and this has been a lot of fun. Peace. It's not been a lot of fun, that's a lie.